Mr. Speaker, members of the government said earlier today in the House that I had known for two years about the specific threat that a PRC diplomat in Toronto was gathering information to target my family. That is false. I'll categorically state again for the record that the briefing, the defensive briefing of two years ago in June of 2021 was general in nature and did not contain any information about the specific threat that a PRC diplomat in Toronto, Mr. Wei Zhou, was targeting my family. Will the Prime Minister correct the record to stop the spread of this misinformation? The Honourable Minister for Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, I want to assure my colleague opposite that we take um, the concerns that he has expressed and that have been ex expressed in public with regards to foreign interference and the targeting of himself and his family extremely seriously, which is why we will continue to work with him provide him with briefings. I would also point out, Mr. Speaker, that earlier today we tabled the 2022 CSIS report, where the United States, among other things, that CSIS provided briefings to 49 federal parliamentarians, and by working with everybody, we can protect our democratic institutions. I want to remind the honourable members... The honourable member... The di well, I'm not going to say honourable member. Did he want to withdraw that, please? Do you want to withdraw that? No. Order. Order. That you do not respect the chair. The chair will not recognize you while you're in this house. Mr. The Honourable Member for Wellington Halton Hills, please continue. Mr. Speaker, I've just been informed by the National... Withdraw and apologize. The chair will not recognize you for the, for the next... Well, no, until you do, indefinitely. The Honourable Member for Wellington Halton Hills. Foreign agents in Canada, foreign diplomats in Canada are presenting a threat to Canadian MPs in this House of Commons. In fact, the 2022 intelligence report of CSIS today says that these threat actors must be held accountable for their clandestine activities. And we also will continue to inform national security stakeholders and all Canadians about foreign interference. So why is the government not listening to the advice of CSIS and not listening to the advice in the reports that are being distributed here? The Minister for Global Affairs earlier today summoned the Chinese ambassador to ensure that we're clear about any consequences around hostile activities or foreign interference. And that is very much consistent with Canada a strong record in condemning this kind of behavior. Moreover, we'll continue to work with all parliamentarians to protect the people that work in this chamber so we can uphold our democracy. Liberal MP from Winnipeg North said that the member from Wellington Halton Hills has known about the threats against him for two years. That is categorically false. The Liberal MP from Kingston and the Islands said that the MP for Wellington Halton Hills was briefed on these specific threats two years ago. This is categorically false. Liberals are now targeting the MP who himself has been targeted by Beijing. So when will the Prime Minister get up and apologize for these Liberal MPs spreading these outright lies? Order. That's not allowed in the House. It's not parliamentary. So I'm going to give the honourable member one more chance, and then uh, we'll move on. And uh, uh, we're not going to have many people left to ask questions. The honourable member for Ch Chilliwack Hope, will he withdraw? Mr. Speaker, I stand by what I said. Good. The honourable member for Chilliwack Hope will not be recognized by the chair until he withdraws.